Shakti. So while you are doing the uh, question related to chain rule system, so first we have to identify what are the different types of currencies has been used in the question. So yeah, let me read the question. If $260 can be exchanged for 200 pounds, is the first. And again, one pound is exchanged for rupees 148. How many dollars can be exchanged for 59,200? So there are two relations has been given with three currencies, dollar, pound, and Nepali rupees. So we have already identified dollar, pound, and Nepali rupees. And their relation also has been given. Like first relation is dollar to pound. Second relation is pound to rupees. And third relation where we have to solve is how many dollars your dollar value is missing but nepali rupees so that in place of how many we are going to write x okay any alphabet unknown alphabet so what you have to do is and let me remind you that you may uh, so the given solution will be like this here you can see first you have to write seven eight. according to the first part of the question 260 dollar can be exchanged for two pounds so what we can do is First, we have to write $260 is equals to 200 pounds. So this is the first information given. And according to the second part of the question, let me show you the question. There is written one pound is exchanged for rupees 140. So this is this can be understood as one pound is rupees 148. Okay, now you can you can see one thing here. So I have not repeated the same uh, currency in the same side. You can see pound was repeated, but I did not write in the right hand side. I left hand side only because I have said that in chain rule, the same thing should not come in the same side. It should come in the two different sides. Okay, and the last part of the question, the question part, the main question part, it is how many dollars can be exchanged for 59,200? So actually in the beginning only, we have to write like, so let x dollar is equals to nepali rupees 59200 so but this is the first part of the sentence but while we are following the chain rule so why should i keep the dollar okay so now in this way i have to keep 59200 in this side and dollar in this side and now you have to check once is is anything been uh, duplicated or repeated? So like here is dollar pound rupees. So here is also dollar pound rupees. So nothing has been repeated. Every left hand side also has dollar pound rupees. Right hand side also has dollar pound rupees as a unit. Now you have to write using chain rule. Let's keep all this number, whatever you see in the left side as the multiples 216 to one into 59,200 and then and from the right side also let's write all the numbers 200 148 into x and now the rest of the thing is all like solving the equation now what will happen is x has to be kept alone and this has, and all the numbers should come in one side so i will write uh, okay i'll multiply all this 260 into 59,200 is 1539212300. And in this down part, the product of this 200 and 148 will come. So I'll directly multiply here 200 into 148. 29,600 equals to X. So now let me get the final answer 1539213 divided by. 296000 then that is 52 therefore x is equals to 52 dollar hence that missing dollar is 52 dollar means 52 dollar means 59200 520 i think it should be let me check once more yeah it is 520 sorry my mistake okay so 520 dollar is the final answer hence 520 dollar can be exchanged for rupees 59,200
two hundred